Hi, I'm Disney, and welcome to Disney's World, my YouTube channel! Eee! So, quick announcement, I have 20 subscribers, that's pretty cool, I'm, I'm liking it, I'm liking the even number. Um, but, most of you should know that 30 is the number I'm going for right now, once I get to 30, you're gonna get a list of 100 things that girls like, and, um, I'm actually gonna go out and, uh, find a hundred things that girls like, not like items, like on a list or something. So continuing, I'm not doing a Disney's duct tape video just because I don't have time and I need a camera and tripod before I can actually really get into the Disney's duct tape. So that is put on hold until I get a camera but it's not cancelled because I love doing stuff with duct tape. So to still have a video today, I actually am going to be talking about my history of cameras, meaning all the cameras I've had in my past that I don't have anymore. First, when I was a little bit younger and I'd go to events, my mom would go out and buy me a disposable camera. You know, the ones that are like... <laughs> you guys remember those, the disposable ones? Yeah. So then, at one of my mom's union parties, we had to enter our names into a drawing for all these cool, fun prizes, and at this time, I really wanted a digital camera. So I put my name into the drawing, and when they called out digital camera for the prize, my whole family and I were all like, please be Disney, please be Disney, please be Disney. And you'll never believe whose name they called out. Me! I was so excited. When I got my camera, I opened up the box, and I was already playing with it. Now this first camera that I won was actually a Kodak, one with the little screens, and it was kind of bulky, it was gray. So after that, I got a camera for Christmas about three years ago. It was a red Nikon, and I was so excited. I had it for a while, and I took it to events, and I took lots of pictures with it. I had it, I think, in seventh grade also, so I kept it for a while. But I went camping one time, and by then, my screen was broken, but it still worked fine. And I was pulling it off my bunk bed that I was sleeping on, and it happened to fall on the floor and completely broke. So that was my second camera that I ruined. So I got my fourth camera for two reasons. Last year, I had really good grades, and it was my birthday. So, this camera was a purple Nikon Cool Pix. Now, this camera was supposed to be really nice, but it made all my photos turn out really yellow and sometimes unfocused. But I still loved it and I still used it and I still took tons of pictures with it. So, the tragic story where I lost this camera was I went over to my cousin's for a sleepover and I left my camera on my nightstand at home. One thing I also left at home was I left my window open, which is right next to my nightstand. So at my cousin's it rained, and um, I didn't remember I left my camera on my nightstand with the window open. So I come home to a little puddle on my nightstand with my camera sitting in it. Nothing else on my nightstand was ruined, just my camera. So right now, I am stuck with my family's dark gray, kind of bulky Canon, which it's actually not a bad camera, except for whenever you make videos with it, the S sound is so over-exaggerated, it makes anybody sound like they have a lisp. This camera right now, actually, the screen doesn't work when you're taking a picture, but it works when you're reviewing pictures, and it works when you're taking video. But it still has one of those little peepholes that you can use so I can still see what I'm taking a picture of. So I'm not the best with cameras, you could say, I guess. But right now, I'm trying to earn up a lot of money, and I'm trying to buy myself a nice camera just for this channel, so I can give better quality to you guys, because you guys are so awesome for supporting me. All 20 of you, maybe more by the time this video goes up, but you're awesome, and I love you. Leave me a comment down below telling me how many cameras you've ever had in your life or how many cameras you've broken or lost in your life. Because if anyone can beat three broken cameras, almost, almost four, then um, 
Awesome. I hope you're rich and you can just buy more. But that's it for today, so feel free to like and subscribe to my channel, and until next time, bye!